that uh, we've started a little bit with tonight. Uh, what I thought I'd do is talk about operations. Because uh, operations are always an interesting topic. Uh, and since we're, we've got so much going on right now, we're in the middle of uh, planning all sorts of lines to the point of losing track of them to a certain extent. Uh, what I'll do is just kind of walk through what we have today and what we could possibly have in 2017. Right now we have five designated lines, um, actually working on four. <coughs> uh, we have a goal line which runs from Sierra Madre over to Atlantic and East Los Angeles. And we have the green line which runs from Redondo Beach to Norwalk down in the freeway, which everybody knows. Uh, the blue line which started it all out uh, from downtown LA to Long Beach. And we have the red slash purple line, which all used to be a red line at one time until we figured out that we the name of the Wilshire Western Branch, the purple line, um, which runs from North Hollywood to Union Station, from Wilshire Western to Wilshire Center to Union Station. Uh, right now it's pretty simple. Uh, we run everything independently uh, on the light rail lines, and the subway lines are scheduled together <coughs> in tandem. Uh, so for example, the subway, uh, if, you're a, if you're a train operator on the subway, you could be assigned to either a red line or a purple line. And in, in fact, we rotate people all day long. Uh, you switch one trips of red, one trips of purple, just to vary other things, because uh, the subway life isn't, isn't it's all what it's cracked up to be. Uh, so you need to vary their day as much as possible. Everything else is out there. You know, the wide blue. Uh, now the green line actually runs very similar to the subway in that there's no grade crossings or anything like that. So it's kind of like a surface subway. Uh, we do operate, uh, let's see, what do we have right now? We have 171, oh no, we have uh, 158 light rail cars on the property right now, 104 subway cars. Um, we use a good majority of those every day in service. I believe it's about 43 trains or something like that. Uh, the headways uh, during the peak period on the green line is seven and a half minutes, on the gold line is seven and a half minutes. On the blue line it runs every five to six minutes. Uh, and then on the subway, uh, 10 minutes on each branch, which is a five minute train. Life's pretty simple right now. Uh, we have the exposition line, which is being constructed, as everybody I'm sure knows out the uh, the south end of downtown and to the, and to the west on the Culver City, which will bring another how many stations? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine stations, something like that, nine or ten stations that on board. Uh, about this time next year, they're, they're, they're targeting July 1st to turn it over, April 1st to turn it over to us, and we're going to need a revenue date of about July 1st, which will be kind of interesting because at that point in time, then we'll have two lines servicing uh, the Seventh Metro Center and Pico Station, uh, and then there'll be this 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 junction in the middle of the street of Washington and Flower, which all the trains will have to go through. Um, for operational purposes, these the Expo line and the Blue line are going to be tied together just like the Red line and Purple line are. So your operators could be assigned to either line. Uh, that, for that particular combination of lines. So in the, in the beginning, all the, all the train operators will run out of Division 11 of Long Beach, which is a long ways to get out to the expo side of the, of the operation. Uh, but we do not have a yard. Uh, we're, we will have a four-track storage facility at Washington and Long Beach there. Uh, you're over at, Long, uh, at uh, Washington Station, if you look north across Washington Boulevard, you see this small property with tents around it. Uh, that's going to be a four-track storage facility uh, for three-car trains. So we'll be able to put uh, 12 cars or four trains in there uh, every night so that we don't have to bring everything all the way home. However, uh, the original scope of the project for that location also included a car wash and a, uh, an inspection facility kind of type thing. So we could actually do some work on them right there. Uh, that was illuminated in the round of uh, negotiations, we'll say. And uh, so there's none of, none of the support is there, so all the trains will have to cycle down from Long Beach at least once a day. So in, 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 uh, in my world, that's going to be a nightmare. Uh, 
anyway, we've got, um, that's kind of what we're facing <laughs> this year and next year. Uh, then we're going to be on a respite for a few years is while we're building all these things. And, you know, it really is kind of something. Uh, you know, we've got, uh, right now in the planning process, we're in the subway uh, to Westwood, maybe not to the sea, maybe to Westwood. Um, we're also on Expo 2 planning right now. We're hot and heavy in meetings with the city of Santa Monica trying to figure out what they want out there soon. Um, we have Crenshaw going from uh, Exposition to Crenshaw down to uh, the Green Line just west of Aviation Station. Um, let's see who else we got? Um, of course, Foothill is, uh, from what I understand, they're, they're going to break ground in June or something like that. Or is that right? Well, in theory, hopefully the construction contract will come through and they'll yeah. move ahead. Yeah, yeah. But they're, they're, they're targeting a 2014 start date for that one now. Uh, out to Azusa Citrus. And then uh, we're also working with the South Bay uh, and uh, an extension of the Green Line from Redondo Beach down into Torrance. Uh, lots of stuff on the plate right now. Uh, and then, the, oh, my goodness gracious, one of my favorite projects, the, the regional connector, which would tie all this stuff together, which actually makes it kind of fun at that point. So rather than boring old scheduling here, where everything's kind of separate, and everything kind of runs on its own, you know, boring. Uh, if, we, if we move ahead, move forward to 2017, let's see what we've built. Well, the, the gold line has been constructed from Sierra Madre out to Azusa Citrus. That's six new stations. Uh, and this is kind of according to the 3010 plan. Uh, the, the purple line has been extended out to uh, Westwood or Veterans Hospital, Veterans Administration out there. Uh, hopefully Veterans Administration. Uh, we have uh, the Expo line extended out to truly the sea, about two blocks away. Uh, the Crenshaw line would run from Crenshaw and Exposition down to the green line and then tie in with the green line at uh, just west of Aviation Station. But right now the current thought is that that line will continue, those trains will continue all the way down to Redondo Beach Station. Uh, what else do we have? Oh yes, um, on 2017 I believe the other uh, project that is supposed to be completed is the East Side 2, uh, which would extend from uh, Atlantic either to uh, A, South El Monte, or B, Whittier, one of the two. We, and nothing's been decided yet. Um, it'll be the best route win. Let's <laughs> see what happens with that. Uh, likewise, on the table at that time, uh, we're still not ready. And, and also, we have a regional connector to tie it all together, which is what I'm going to talk about. Uh, also, very possibly on the table at that time, we'll have uh, the Foothill 2 extension from. Uh, uh, Azusa Citrus out to Claremont, even though it's not called for in the 3010. Um, things seem to be pretty persistent out there, so I, I'm just kind of thinking we may have to work with that at some point in time here. Uh, likewise, what Bart was referring to earlier is the, the 405 uh, trip through the mountains. I, I think over the mountains is probably not even a reasonable solution, as everybody kind of alluded to earlier. Uh, the South Bay. Redondo Beach down to Torrance, it's still not quite ready. Right. I think that was supposed to be for 2018. And then LAX, the, the stub operation into LAX would be getting close to operating also. So, gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, but, but what happens when the regional connector is built is really a big deal. Uh, the lines as we know them now <coughs> just won't be the same. They won't be the same. Uh, instead of the gold line coming in and almost getting to downtown, or the Santa Monica, you know, the Santa Monica and uh, the Long Beach lines getting to the Metro Center, but not really the uh, the rest of downtown. If you will. There's a lot more downtown than, than just Metro Center. We have this we have this new bridge route that would run from approximately First and Alameda over to Metro Center. Uh, via 2nd Street and via Flower in, in rough terms and just kind of square off. So it, it would open up uh, a nice uh, section of other locations in downtown Los Angeles to get to. Uh, and likewise, what it allows us to do 